Praise the Lord. If you're happy to be here, shout a big hallelujah. If you're happy to be alive today, shout a great hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We worship you. We bless your holy name. We give you the glory and the praise. We thank you because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, as we go into your word, speak to us. Enlighten us. Open our eyes to receive and our hearts to receive from you. Give us seeing eyes and hearing ears, Lord. Help us to please you. And whatever is our need, Father Lord God, grant it right now in the name of Jesus. Help us to know more of you and let your name be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I want to thank the leadership committee and of course my boss, Pastor Leke Adeboye, for this opportunity. I pray that God himself will continue to bless and reward you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today our topic is called excellence. Excellence. Daniel 6.3. Daniel 6.3. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Daniel was preferred because he was excellent. Now, Daniel was preferred above presidents and princes. Now, you know that presidents are not ordinary people. Princes are not ordinary people. They work with an entourage or entourage. They have their own personal assistants. They work with a slew of people that they command. But Daniel was more preferred than presidents and princes because an excellent spirit was in him. And that is the Holy Spirit. An excellent spirit was him. So when you are excellent, you stand out positively. When you are excellent, you are preferred. You are favored. That's what excellence means. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. Excellence means to be outstanding. When you are excellent, you are outstanding in the realm of your, of your or sphere of influence. If you are a pastor, you are an outstanding pastor. If you are a soccer player, football player, you are an outstanding football player. If I mention Ronaldo, what comes to your mind? If I mention Messi, what comes to your mind? Now, if I move on to the realm of basketball, if I mention Michael Jordan, what comes to your mind? Winners, excellent people, people that have won championships over and over again. When you are excellent, you are outstanding. May God make you outstanding in Jesus' name. Amen. Excellence is being the best at what you do. Excellence is being the best at what you do. Matthew 5.48. Matthew 5.48. It says, be ye perfect, even, or as your heavenly father is perfect. Excellence is a constant pursuit of perfection. That's excellent or excellence. You are not excellent until you constantly look for ways to improve. When you are pursuing excellence, you are looking for ways to improve. You know, in Nigeria, I'm from Lagos, and the mantra of Lagos is what? <laughs> Center for excellence. May God help us in Jesus' name. Look at 1 Peter 2.9. 2, 1 Peter 2 9. He says, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you show forth the excellencies, the excellencies, the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So you can see that when you are excellent, you are a praiser. Those who praise God are excellent. He says, show forth the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. May we continue to show forth praises. May our life be excellent. May it be glorifying to God in Jesus' name. Amen. Excellence is personal development on a higher level. If you look at the book of 1 Corinthians 13, 11, it says, when I was a child, I thought like a child. But when I got older, when I became a man, I put away childish things. When you are excellent, you are 
looking at personal development, how can I be a better version of myself? If you look at cars, let's say you look at the Toyota Camry, give an example. The 1995 Toyota Camry is different from the 2005 Toyota Camry. It's different from the 2015 Toyota Camry. And it's also different from the 2021 Toyota Camry. From the 1995 Toyota Camry to the 2021 Toyota Camry, there is a vast level of improvement. There are vast level of devices, vast level of, of advancement in the cars. Same thing with you. When you are excellent, there is an attention to personal development. Being excellent is attention to details. When you are excellent, you pay attention to details. Now, excellence is not gotten in your comfort zone. There is nobody that becomes excellent in their comfort zone. Look at Joseph, Genesis 37, 2 to 11. Genesis 37, 2 to 11. We'll just read a little bit of it. Genesis 37, 2 to 11. Genesis 37, 2 to 11. Then these are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Bila and with the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. <laughs> Joseph was a snitch. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age. And he was made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they what? Hated him and could not speak to him peaceably. Verse 5. And Joseph dreamed a dream. Joseph what? Dreamed a dream. And he told it his brethren. And they hated him yet the more. They hated him yet the more. They hated him yet the more. You can see that Joseph started off as an interpreter of dreams. He started off as someone that was dreaming dreams. Excuse me. He started off as someone that just dreamt. Oh, I had a dream. My brothers bowed down to me. Then after a while, in prison, he became an interpreter of dream, of dreams. Joseph was uncouth, if that's what to use. Joseph was not refined. But when he entered into Potiphar's house, he started developing his leadership skills. He became the head of the household. When he was pushed to prison unceremoniously, he became a better leader, leading the whole prison. By the time he came out of prison, he was so refined and he was ready to be the prime minister of Egypt. So when you are excellent, there is a constant improvement. But excellence does not come in your comfort zone. Nobody grows in the place of comfort. My brothers and sisters, you can't grow in a place of comfort. Those who are excellent, they, they get it sometimes in the place of hardship. So don't despise that storm you are going through. Don't despise that hard times you are dealing with. God is perfecting all that concerns you. And I pray that God himself will perfect all that concerns you in Jesus' name. He said, when I come out, or when I'm tried, I will come out as gold. I'm just summarizing the passage. There's a refinement, a refining fire that brings out the excellent spirit inside of you. May God give you understanding in Jesus' name. I remember a couple of years ago, when I was done with my undergraduate studies, my undergrad. So, the question is that, should I go for my master's degree? What should I do? So I decided to go for NYSC. Now, I'm coming from the United States to Nigeria. So people said, are you crazy? What are you doing in Nigeria? Why are you going for NYSC? I just felt a leading to go. So I was posted to Lagos. Now I enjoy Lagos camp. I enjoyed the camp. But when I was in camp, I heard, <laughs> we deployed to Benue State. We deployed to where? Benue State. And when I hear the voice of God, I know the voice of God. So I went and applied to redeploy to Benue State. And of course, word got around our campground in Lagos. And people started abusing me. What are you doing? Do you people want to come to Lagos? Why are you trying to leave Lagos? 
I know what I heard. God said, leave Lagos and go to Benue State. Boko, even told me, Boko, Benue State. So, I went during the interview to redeploy. They made fun of me. The interviewers were laughing like, are you kidding me? Why are you trying to leave Lagos? I said, this is what God has said. I redeployed there. If I tell you there was a bed of roses, I'll be lying to you. Most of my worst experiences <laughs> was in Boko. But in the place of discomfort, I grew spiritually. I learned to trust God. God became my best friend. In that wilderness experience, I became a man. Nobody becomes excellent when they are in their comfort zone. So there are many times when God wants to train a man, when God wants to mold a woman, he puts them in places of discomfort. May God help us to come out when we are tried in the fire, to come out as gold and a shining light in Jesus' name. Amen. Excellence pushes you from potential to purpose. When you are excellent, you are pushed from potential to purpose. See, when you are excellent, you move from raw material to productive material. You move from raw material to finished product. When you are excellent, you move from a state of being a dismal entity to being a shining light. I'll give an example. Look at the United, United Arab Emirates, UAE, Dubai. 30 years ago, I mean, who went there for vacation? But in the process of them improving on that country, <laughs> in the process of them building great buildings and hotels and making it a tourist de destination, today, UAE is one of the most visited countries in the world. When you are excellent, you are moved from raw material to finished product. Many times, Men and women of substance, regular people, are attracted to excellence. I went to a church one time in Canada, Toronto, Canada. I went there. And when I got there, my God, I've not seen that level of excellence. I drove the car, the rental car that I got, I drove. As I came to the parking lot, I drove, I parked. There was someone in the parking lot that said, welcome, welcome, welcome. They even used um, one of those trolleys to drive us <laughs> from the parking lot to the door. When we go to the door, the ushers welcomed us. Welcome to this church. I, I'm like, wow. I go to another place again. Another house, I say, oh, come here and sit down. The level of excellence there blew me away. I have to say that when we go back to our home church, we have to implement some of these things here. When you are excellent, it speaks. It makes you preferred. If I was living in Toronto, let's say I decided to move there, I would be go to that church based on the level of excellence that I saw. Excellence is attractive. So when you are excellent, you move from being potential person or someone that has potentials to somebody of purpose. When you are excellent, you move from being raw material to a finished product. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. If you look at Philippians 4 8, he said, Whatever is, you know, let's look at Philippians 4 8 right quick. Philippians 4 8. Philippians 4 8. I say, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, there's a place where he talks about excellence. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any excellencies, think on these things. Think on these things. So when you are excellent, you realize that excellence itself is a mindset. Look at the NIV version. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. May God make us excellent in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have gone to maybe one of those high-end stores, a Gucci store, a Louis Vuitton store, if you have gone to all those stores, you will see that the level of attention to detail and the level of the way they place their product, there's no how you won't buy from them. 
<laughs> if you don't have the money, you just look and say, wow, this is beautiful. When you are excellent, you are attractive. May God help us and give us understanding in Jesus' name. Now, excellence is not the absence of mistakes or setback or personal failures. It is the ability to rise above them. So when you are pursuing excellence, when you are trying to be excellent, it doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. It doesn't mean that you will not have setbacks. It doesn't mean that you will not have a lot of errors along the way. But it is the ability to rise above such mistake. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. David, there's a passage where I read, where David went and counted the children of Israel. He counted them against the order of God. God did not instruct him to do it. David went ahead and counted the children of Israel. And guess what? When he was done counting them, God now gave him three options as punishment. He said, choose any of these three options. If you know the passage, you know that story. He said, maybe you fall into the land of your enemy. Other options. And David said, Father, what do I now do now? Let me fall into your own hands. And, a, and an angel came, and a lot of Israelites died because of the mistake of David. That's why you should pray for your leaders. The leader of your country can determine who lives and who dies. And that's why you should vote well too. <laughs> because the leadership that you put over you will determine a lot of things. And the Bible says, of God, when the righteous rule, the people rejoice. I mean, and of course, if the evil person rules, people will start crying. David made a mistake, but he now went and made a sacrifice to God. He said, Father, have mercy. I have made a serious mistake. This error is something that I want you to please have mercy. He put and made an altar, and he said, I will not give God that which will not cost me anything. And of course, when he made that, that sacrifice, the error was taken out of Israel. And there was peace. So, excellence is not the absence of mistakes or setback. It is the ability to rise above them and use them as a springboard to forge ahead. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. Examples of excellent people in the Bible. Jesus. Jesus. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. Jesus was an excellent man. Daniel had an excellent spirit. These are people in the Bible that God shows to us as an epitome, as a blueprint of excellence. How do you become excellent to round off? How do you become excellent? Number one, invest in personal development, wisdom, and knowledge. Invest in personal development, wisdom, and knowledge. You know, in every profession, the better and the higher things you know, the more you get paid. A general practitioner gets paid differently than someone that is a surgeon. A surgeon gets paid a higher dimension of money because in most cases, if you are a brain surgeon, you need to know more, so you're going to get paid more. The invest in personal development, knowledge, and wisdom. Number two, don't be too big to ask questions. Don't be too big to ask questions. Don't be too big to be taught by somebody. Excellence requires you to ask questions. You know, that's one thing I like about my boss, Pastor Dickie. He will ask you, hey, how do you do that? How do you do this one? Hey. He doesn't say, hey. He say, my boss. I'm not saying, hey. <laughs> he doesn't say, hey. Oh, boss, boss, boss. How do you do that? Very humble person. What am I trying to say? Number two, don't be too big to ask questions. Ask questions. How can I be better? What am I doing wrong? Sometimes when I'm undertaking a project or when something is not working, I ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what am I doing wrong? How can I be better? And he shows me what to do. And number three, pay close attention to what is said that may be different in your character, that may be deficient in your character. Pay close attention to what is said that may be deficient in your character. If somebody tells you, you always come late, and you hear from another person, Omo, you they come late all the time. It means that you should walk on your tardiness. If somebody tells you, you are too angry, you procrastinate a lot. Out of the matter of two or three witnesses, a word is established. If somebody sees a deficiency in your character, another person sees it, another person sees it, 
Go and pray about it and say, Father, please help me to work on this part and aspect of my life. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. And finally, pay attention to details. Pay attention to details. I had the tailor one time. I was in Lagos. I told the tailor, do this design for me. <laughs> if you have tailor, you know what I'm talking about. This is the design I want. When I saw the finished product, much later, I asked the tailor, this is not what I asked you to do for me. I said, put one design on this trouser for me. What is this? <laughs> when you are excellent, you pay attention to details. When you are excellent, you look for ways to improve. When you are excellent, you invoke the Holy Spirit. Who is the spirit of excellence? Now raise your hand and say, Father, help me to be excellent. I receive the spirit of excellence. I receive the spirit of excellence. I stand out. I'm preferred. I'm favored. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I worship you. I bless your holy name because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you for the grace to be excellent. Let your name be glorified and be exalted. Have your way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you.